what to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right, it's nationally syndicated film critic Ryan J. He's got over one million listeners every week, and he's got over one million giveaways today, too. Okay, it's a little That's dramatic. Right. A little Several. dramatic, but you got a lot of stuff to give away, A right? lot today, Hey, it's we true. forgot to mention Go Red. It's Go Red today. And it, because of heart disease, because actually, um, Go Red for women, more mm -hmm. women die of heart disease than all forms of cancer combined. We've talked about that here in the show. And I love that our guy Ryan J is not only wearing red to support Go Red for women, but he's also got like a little Valentine thing going on with this polka dot tie in his red it's and white. Good. That's awesome. Aww, thanks. Yes. Well, it's an, it's a good cause, right? For it sure. Is. Mm. All right. Well, let's get it started. Um, the there's a new DVD giveaway. Yes, uh, Disney from the Disney Vault for the first time ever on Blu-ray and DVD is the Jungle Book. Oh, I oh, love yeah. that. So yes. I've got a bunch of free copies Mowgli. of this to give away. It comes out Tuesday, so you can purchase on Tuesday, but you can win it in advance from me on my website, RyanJReviews.com. So Cute. that's over a there good for this one. One. Love I love that. It's a classic, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so the Lego movie, there's been kind of a lot of hype, I feel like, about this. So much advanced buzz, and now I know why. This movie is fantastic. It's original and fresh and exciting and nostalgic all at the same time. Okay. So when you go when you when you say nostalgic, is it because of the characters that they choose? Absolutely. There's a really incredible mashup of iconic characters. Uh -huh. You know, you see Batman and Wonder Woman, you've got Harry Potter characters in there, Lord of the Rings, Ninja Turtles, <laughs> and Star Wars, and then new characters, <laughs> so and they cute. all come together. There's just this feeling with this movie as though it's like something that should have been out already or has happened in the past, uh -huh. but it's really the perfect time for this movie. It's clever and witty and fun and brilliant. I, I always like to ask you this about anime animated films because I think even though it, the technology's come such a long way, I still think there are some that just really hit a home run, but there are still a few that where it's not so great. So how did you feel about the animation and the 3D in this one? The animation and 3D are both really cool. And one of the best things about the animation for this film is that the pieces almost move the way you'd see Lego pieces move, Aww. almost like stop motion. But it's all CGI animation, and it's okay. really great. And you know how Legos are play sets. You buy them, they're based on characters, you follow the instructions, you build them, then you tear them apart and you rebuild something else out of your own imagination, and this film really epitomizes that philosophy behind Legos. It made me want to go home and play with them. I was going to ask you that, because I feel like it's genius marketing. Lego sales are going to go through the roof They just if you need to make some them. Wizard of Oz Legos. There you go. And then I'll be happy. And your life is complete. Exactly. <laughs> we'll put in a word for you with the Lego people. So this is, I'm guessing you're going to say a see it this in the theater. This is a see it, absolutely. Okay. See it in Great the Great for kids and adults. All okay. Right. You've got a giveaway. Yes, that's right. We're giving away uh, free tickets to the Lego movie. This is called Holly Hollywood Money Movie, and it's something new, something kind of different, and uh, you can call here at the station to win these. The number is 414-799-4444, and basically we're giving away five four packs. That's and awesome. They're good to use at any theater in town, any showing between now and March 6th. Just got to get these and uh, see the movie. It's who, worth it. Who doesn't want movie money? That's I cool. I know. That's Absolutely. so cool. Okay, the next one, I've been waiting to hear what you think. Me because too. these are the celebrities we saw when we were in L.A. It's yep. Monuments Men. Yes, written and directed by and starring George Clooney. And this movie is really like a well-made piece of furniture. It's sturdy and it, there's great craftsmanship and it's comfortable for a war movie. It's comfortable to watch. I always feel like George Clooney, especially, or in particular, I should say, there are certain actors I feel like he likes working with. So when mm -hmm. he does a yeah. movie and he has some say in it, he, he's a lot of times working with the same guys, you know, like Matt Damon, for example. Absolutely. And I feel like this one, he's bringing his friends along. He's kind mm -hmm. of like Woody Allen in the sense that he assembles a really great ensemble. So you've got Matt Damon and Kate Blanchett. You've got some great comedy provided by Bill Murray and John Goodman, who is a real fan favorite, walking out of the screening for this one. So it's light and it's funny and it's cool. They've been really funny on their tour around all the mm -hmm. talk shows, which mm -hmm. has been fun watching. But is this like a typical war movie? Because you don't usually like war movies. I don't normally like them. This one's a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more palatable. And uh, one thing that I think is so amazing about this movie is that it actually makes you care about the art. There's a scene where the Nazis are... I wondered about that. Yeah, there's this one scene in particular where Nazis are destroying artwork, and I had this like emotional reaction to it, the way that I would normally react to seeing an animal harmed on screen. Mm -hmm. And I think it really speaks to the integrity of this film and the cultural relevance that it places on art 
accept that it makes you feel so deeply about it. So it was kind of a disturbing moment, even it, though it wasn't against a person exactly, or an animal. Exactly, exactly. It's but, interesting that you, that you were able to feel that, because when yeah. I saw previews, I'm like, I wonder if I'll care so much that they're trying to rescue art. Art, right. But you do, and it's really, really good, and I recommend this movie. It's a see it also. Very Yay. good, very strong. All right, what about The Invisible Woman? This is rated R. Yeah, this one is rated R. It's directed by and starring Ray Fiennes as Charles Dickens, and it's a slice of his life where he's infatuated with a young actress played by Felicity Jones, and I kind of wanted to sleep during this movie. Oh, really? No way! Yeah. Why was it so boring? Yeah. Because it's confusing, and it's muddled, oh, it's dark. long, and for all that it's about Charles Dickens being infatuated with a woman, which should be really, really dramatic, and he's married at the time with children, and he's you know, cheating on his wife, but like, it's not dramatic, there's no chemistry between him and mm. Felicity, and you just don't care. It's just all over the place. Kristen Scott Thomas is in this she as well. Is. Now, see, what I think is interesting about that is in the past, she was his love interest in some key movies. It's right, and mm. so it's great seeing them on screen together, but again, she's very underused, no chemistry here, and I really blame Ray for that as a director. I really adore him. I mean, he was Voldemort in Harry Potter, for heaven's sake, you yeah. know? <laughs> but I actually think he looks better as Voldemort than he does as Charles Dickens. So. Oh, that's so funny. So yeah. was this a cast problem or a casting problem? A scripting problem skip and it. a directing problem, okay. I believe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Skip yeah, that one. Wow, that's harsh. Time. Not even um, rent it. That's right. You have a new uh, movie club announcement, right? Yes, next week is Valentine's Day, so in honor of all of that love, we're going to be celebrating Winter's Tale, okay. which opens on Valentine's Day, but the movie club is going to be Monday, February 10th, right? Mm -hmm. okay. And it's going to be at 7 p.m., and you can enter to win on my website, ryanjreviews.com, and I'm going to be giving away a bunch of free seats to that. You have to arrive by 6.30, and one lucky winner is going to win the Valentine's Day package, Woo! which is two tickets to my movie club Monday night, but you're also going to get a $50 gift certificate to Thunder Bay, Whoa. And six months of roses. If you really want to, no wanna, way! You, know, ah! you really want to wow that special somebody in your life. Don't cool. settle for less. Go to 1-800-Flowers.com. I'd like to thank them in Thunder Bay, and we're going to make Valentine's Day very special this year oh, for somebody. Wow, you're giving that away the cool. farm today. <laughs> we love Thunder Seriously. Bay too. Yeah, awesome. it's a great yeah. place, and they've got lobster tail. Yeah. There's some great things you can have on the menu. You can like Ryan J on. Facebook and follow him on Twitter and for his full movie reviews you can check out his website ryanjreviews.com That was awesome today. We need Thanks a mug so with guys. you on it next. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, nobody wants that. Yes, they do. <laughs> we do. The switchboards will light up. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Thank you.